Hi everyone, today we are going to learn about the fact finding techniques in system analysis and design. So basically the fact finding techniques are used to learn about the functions of the existing system. Whenever a system analyst is asked to develop a new information system for an organization, he first of all need, needs to know the functions of the existing system and for that he needs to collect data related to the existing system. So in order to collect the data related to the existing system which will help the system analyst better understand about the functions of the existing system, there are some fact finding techniques. Usually the data related to the organization, staff, documents used and formats used in the input and output processes is collected. So all this together helps the system analyst to know about the functions of the existing system. Now this information, there, there is a technique of gathering all this information that means the data about the organization, the staff, the documents used in the organization, the formats that are used for documenting in the organization, what are the various inputs and output processes in order to collect all these data related to an organization, there are various techniques. So these techniques include your interviews, group discussions, site visits, presentations and questionnaires. In today's video, the fact finding technique that we are going to cover is interviews. Now before we study what interviews are, we need to know the need for fact finding. A gist of it I have already given you why do we need to find facts. Now normally each and every business house or any organization has its own rules and procedures to run and manage it. So many organizations or business houses they do not run according to a standard rule or standard procedures. All of them have their own rules and procedures to run and manage their own organizations. So when a system needs to be developed system means when a new information system needs to be developed, the system analyst needs to know the requirements of this system. Now since a new information system is being developed for the organization, so what purpose should that information system serve for that organization depends upon what the requirements of that organization from that particular information system are. So that means um, in summary, the system analyst needs to know the requirements of the system before he can start developing the new information system. And depending upon these requirements, the system will then be developed so that the new information system which is developed fulfills all these requirements of the organization. So one such fact finding technique is interviews. Among all the fact finding techniques which I just discussed with you, one technique is interviews and in today's video we will discuss interviews. Interviews are also the personal interview. Personal interview for the reason that it is a one on one interaction with the uh, system analyst and one of the member of the organization. So for that reason we call it personal interview since it is very personal within just two people. So personal interview is a recognized and most important fact finding technique where the system analyst gathers information from individual face to face interaction. So just I, I just said that personal interview because it is a one on one interaction between the system analyst and one of the member of the organization. For that reason it is considered as a very important fact finding technique because there is no intervention of any third person, there is no influence of any third person. It is just the interviewee and the interviewer wherein the interviewer is the system analyst and the interviewee is one of the members of the organization. So this way the system analyst gathers information from that particular individual in a face to face interaction. Interviews are used to find the facts then they are used, also used to verify the facts, 
clarify those facts, get the customer involved because when you are taking interview from the uh, client side, people of the client side, they are getting involved in it and identify the system requirements and know all the options. So, interviews with various such key people or key members of the organization would let the system analyst better identify the requirements of the system and all the options as per the requirements that are available for that organization. The interview is usually conducted by the system analyst. It is the system analyst who conducts these interviews. So, for that reason, the system analyst is the interviewer and the members uh, who of the organization who are being interviewed are obviously the interviewees. Now, to conduct interview, the interviewer must have personality which helps him or her to be social with strangers or different types of people. Now, if you do not have as a system analyst, when you are conducting interviews, if you do not have that kind of a personality wherein you can easily gel along with strangers or different types of people, then you will not be a successful interviewer. So, you must have a personality so that you are, uh, it is easier for you to be social with strangers or different types of people. Now, let us look at the advantages of interviews. The advantages of interviews are that they permit the system analyst to get individuals views and get the specific problem wise and operation wise, right. So, since you are uh, interacting with every person face to face and it is just a one on one interaction, there is no third person in between. So, you will get individual views from each and every person who is being interviewed and then also you get the specific problem and operation specific problem and what are the operation wise problems and what are the requirements of that organization, you get them specifically. Interviews allow the system analyst to obtain a better clarity of the problem due to feedback from the interviewees. Since it is a two way communication between the analyst and the interviewee. So, that means the analyst can also get a better clarity of the problem because there is only one person explaining everything to you. So, you can better understand and also you get feedback from the interviewees. The people who are giving the interview, you can also get feedbacks from, that, from them. So, that means in that sense, the system analyst has a better clarity of the problem. Now, in the process of interviews, the interviewer obviously which is the system analyst has the time and scope to motivate the interviewee to respond freely and openly. So, since this is an this is a face to face interaction, so if the uh, system analyst has good interpersonal skills, so for, uh, in that case the system analyst has ample amount of time and scope to motivate that person to bring out more from him. So, that that person gives uh, has a clarity in terms of the requirements that he has stated, it tells you each and everything that you want to know and responds freely and openly. It is, uh, it is an art of the interviewer to make the uh, person who is sitting in the front to make the interviewee as comfortable as possible so that he can respond freely and openly. The more free and open he becomes the better he can state out all the system requirements and better feedback he can give which would all obviously uh, uh, which would obviously help the system analyst have a better clarity of the problem interviews allow the system analyst to understand the user requirements and to know the problems faced by the user within the current system since it is the uh, members of the organization or the users of the organization who are being interviewed during the personal interviews. So, for that reason a system analyst can better understand the user requirements because who else can tell the user requirements better than the users themselves. So, if it is a personal interview with the users only, so obviously they will give you a better insight of all their requirements and you would better be able to understand the problems which are faced by the users with the current system because it is the users who are using the current system on a daily basis and nobody other than the users would know about the problems that they are facing from the current systems. So, that means you hear it 
straight from the horse's mouth. So, no better way to know about the problems of the existing system than the interviews. It is an effective technique to gather information about complex existing systems. If the existing systems are complex, so one on one interaction would give you a better and effective technique to gather information about such kind of systems. Now, uh, we will have a look at the disadvantages of the interviews. Now, everything has its pros and cons. So, if interviews as a fact finding technique has some advantages, it certainly has some disadvantages also. Interviews are very time consuming since it is a one on one interaction. So, if there are many people who need to be interviewed, it would be a time consuming process. Success of interviews in most of the cases depends upon the system analyst interpersonal relationship skills. Now, if the uh, system analyst is capable of making people free and open in front of them, he can get the requirements more better. But if the system analyst does not have such interpersonal or relationship skills, then extracting information from the people can get difficult at certain times. So, obviously, the success of interviews is not guaranteed that it will be successful only. It would depend in most of the cases upon the interpersonal skills of the system analyst. Sometimes interviews may be impractical due, the, due to the location of the interviews, interviewees. So, if the uh, interviewees are located geographically um, at a farther distance, then interviews may be impractical at that particular point of time. Now, let us look at the various different types of interviews that can be conducted. So, in two broad categories, you can divide the interviews. So, the two types of interviews are structured and unstructured. So, basically the in structured interviews, there is a specific set of questions, they are already structured. So, you have already framed the questions that have to be asked to an interview. So, there is a specific set of questions and you cannot beat around the bush, only those specific set of questions will be asked to the interviewee. But in case of unstructured as the name itself says they are unstructured that means there is no specific structure or format of that interview and you will have just a few specific questions and other than that you will have only general questions because unstructured interviews are conducted with only a general goal or subject in mind. Now. Uh, of course, as I said, the success of an interview depends upon the interpersonal relationship skills of the system analyst. So, that for that reason, we say that conducting interviews is an art. In a summary or precisely speaking, we can say about the interviews that the conclusion is that the success of the interview depends upon selecting the individual preparing for the interview, who is being asked the questions, right? Then how much you have prepared for the interview, you just you just cannot go and start asking questions randomly, you have to be prepared for the interview in advance. You have to create a situation in which answers offered are reliable, you have to uh, you have to make the custom uh, clients believe that they can trust you while giving feedback or while stating the requirements. So, that means as an interviewee, as an interviewer, you have to create a situation in which answers offered are reliable and you have to create a situation in which opinion can be given without any fear of being criticized by others. So, wh wh while uh, uh, taking feedback from the clients, also you have to uh, take them under confidence so that they are very sure of the fact that whatever feedback or opinion they give, they can give that without any fear, so that they won't be criticized or they won't be judged. So, for that reason we say conducting interviews is an art.